So skin cancer is uh, when you have abnormal cells growing in the skin in a, in a dangerous manner. And uh, these can sometimes bud off and uh, sort of grow in the lymph nodes or in other organs within your body. Uh, skin cancer is rising, it's the fastest growing cancer in the UK and really uh, we're, we're really battling to keep on top of it at the moment within the UK. There are two main types of skin cancer. There's melanoma skin cancer which everyone knows about uh, and is uh, a very dangerous skin cancer and can be fatal if not treated early. And then the other types of skin cancers are called non-melanoma skin cancers. The most common type and the most common cancer in the UK is basal cell carcinoma. Um, and this is a local form of skin tumour that rarely spreads to the body. And then it's, if you like, it's more aggressive cousin is a squamous cell carcinoma that can have the potential to spread to the body. People who have a strong family history are automatically more likely to have skin cancers. Uh, people who have a uh, skin type of one or two, and that basically means uh, people who, uh, when they go in the sun, have a, an easy tendency to burn and rarely tan. Uh, also, various medications, so people who are immunosuppressed, have a higher tendency to have uh, skin cancers, and those skin cancers are more aggressive. For melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancer, the, uh, there's been some new evidence showing that the use of sunbeds uh, especially in young people, uh, markedly increases their risk. So for females, for example, if you used a sunbed just once before the age of 35, you nearly double your risk, your baseline risk of having a melanoma. So your risk goes up by 87%. Uh, and that fact is staggering that we still have sort of people going on sunbeds regularly. Uh, newer, newer research as well has shown that their risk of developing non-melanoma skin cancers in later life is also far greater if you've used a sunbed. The recommendation from us and, and the British Association of Dermatologists is everyone, uh, regardless of age or creed or colour, should be um, examining their skin on, on a monthly basis. Um, in particular, we want patients to look out for any uh, pigmented or, or dark lesions that are changing in, in size, shape or colour, that are becoming painful or symptomatic uh, and that are giving them any sort of symptoms. We use um, a, a, an algorithm A, B, C, D and E. So A is for anything that's asymmetrical. So if you can cut your, your mole into four different segments, each of those four segments should be the same. And if they're not, then that's a worrying sign. Is the border, the, uh, then B is for border. So if you can draw a direct line around the border, then that's okay. But if it's scalloped, or if the borders are blurred, then that's another worrying feature. If it's got more than two colors, again, another worrying feature. And then anything that stands out on your body, anything that's larger than the rest of your other moles should, should stand out should, should uh, alert you to, to seeking a medical uh, advice and then E really is to see an expert in skin cancer. Uh, so that's for your sort of darker moles but uh, for other non-melanoma skin cancers any growth that isn't quite healing that, no, that, that you think has been there for a while and, it, and it's growing, if it's bleeding, if it's painful, all of these features should want you to seek a diagnosis. Don't just leave them and think uh, it's nothing to worry about. We'd much rather that you have a diagnosis. If, if you're worried about whether you have a skin cancer or not, uh, you can see your GP who will refer you on to us or um, you can refer directly to um, one of our clinics uh, and uh, we will usually operate on you within one to two days of making the diagnosis, if not the same day. Thank you.